Cyclone Fanatics, Chris Williams here, Wilson Toyota of Ames, joined by Tron Smith. Tron Smith, happy uh, Memorial Day weekend. You guys have a big weekend here at Wilson Toyota. You're open on Memorial Day. What's up with that? Well, you know what? I think it's great. You know, when everyone else is off work and, yeah. and, and kind of having the time. A lot of times you don't have time to come and look at cars and kind of hang out. Um, 9 to 5. We're going to be here from 9 in the morning until 5 are there, in the afternoon. Are there deals? Great deals, actually. Yeah. You know, I tell you one thing: for people that aren't, that don't, don't really know, uh, uh, leasing. Leasing is a huge deal anymore. I tell you, a lot of people don't want to lease because they don't understand it. Um, now's a good time to come in, and you know, you get a brand new car for two hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah. You know, that's kind of cool. No, it's I'm a great opportunity. I'm leasing my 2011 Toyota Camry, courtesy of Wilson Toyota, at 2212 South Duff Avenue in Ames. That's one great mean machine. <laughs> it is, and Tron. Taught me a few things on it today. We're enhancing the car every every single month. We love it though, man. It's and it's amazing too because I my other vehicle is a Jeep and the the gas mileage difference when you're paying 370 a gallon. The difference between that Camry and the Jeep is just unbelievable. Great. Great. And you know, it's a great opportunity. I tell you, you know, we're getting ready for this uh, for the gridiron club for the coaches cook off. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we can get your car down there. Maybe we'll get another one down there so people can kind of jump in and out of them, see what they're doing. We have to work on that. See if that works. We'll do that. We can do that definitely. We'll look forward to it. You know, you mentioned the coach's cook-off. Tron and I are MC in the event. Uh, no holds bar, okay? Uh, I, you know, I said this in a, in a blog earlier this week. Hey, and, and I don't care if he sees this. Coach Rhodes, <laughs> Paul Rhodes, if your barbecue sucks, I'm going to tell you, okay? No this is holds how we bar. do it. Gloves are off. All you right, know, gloves are off when Tron Smith and I show up at Coldwater on, on June 11th. And what a great opportunity, man, for me and you to kind of sit down and just kind of be ourselves. You know, it's different. You know, we on the radio. You kind of, you yeah. know, there's some things you just can't say on the radio. For all you guys that are interested and, and going to come out, and you're going to get the opportunity to hear it. Not only keep it real, but keep it raw. Well, we're going to you know? keep it raw. We're going to keep it real. Sixty bucks is That's the it. total, and, and it's free. Well, not free because you're paying for it, <laughs> but it's unlimited beer. Food. Be be best thing is you get to hang out with the coaches. You get to hang out with um, you know people from the football program. Yeah. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, right here in my hand, is that is that, uh, is that confidential information? I have right confidential there? information on who the judges are going to be for the 2011 coaches cookoff. Now this is big because this is who who takes home that trophy at the end. Of the you got the people's champ, and then you have the professional judging champ. Is it like the people's champ, like the Rock? You know it. Yeah. You can't do it. You no, can't, I can't do, do it. it. I can do something that Tron can. Believe that. Um, wow. Nonetheless, uh, you have a people's champion who, who the folks vote on, who are there in attendance, and then you have this, um, you know, the professional champion. Now, you know, I'm looking here at the at the judges, and you know, these are supposed to be like, expert judges, but I'm, I'm just not seeing it. Experts? I, I got a couple guys on here. I don't. I don't think that they know the difference between barbecue and a Jimmy John sub. All right. Oh, well, who do we have? Can we? Can we put that out there? We're gonna unveil the judges right now, exclusively at Cyclone. Should we do like a judge breakdown? You know how you do like yeah. a Big Twelve breakdown. Let's do it. Should we do a judge Let's breakdown power, right now? Power rankings for the three judges for the oh, 2011 coach. This ought to be good. First of all, you have a guy, friend of the show, friend of the video podcast here. Um, wow. Good friend of ours. Voice of the Cyclones, John Walters. Oh, the Godfather. The Godfather. He is a judge. Yeah, he's a judge. Does he cook? Well, this is where you know I start. I start scratching my head a little bit, and I got to go. What's up with this gridiron club, John Walters? Now, now this guy. I mean, he's a sharp. He's as sharp as a tack when it comes to broadcasting the game, supporting the Cyclones, and doing it, doing all that stuff. But I, you know, I look at John Walters. I don't. I don't see a barbecue guy. You know, I, I just don't see it. I remember back in the days. I think uh, they used to say things that make you go. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen John Walters with a barbecue stain on any no. of his shirts. And better yet, you know what? I think that uh, I don't. I've never seen him in like a chef hat. You know, maybe we should get him in a chef hat. I don't know if this guy can cook, man. You know I, what I mean? Have you, I, have you tasted? Does anybody know anybody out there in Cyclone Fanatic world? Do you can a, can a guy? Listen, we know he's a great broadcaster. We know he knows his Cyclone stuff. But listen, we're not cooking side burgers no. here, this, John. In, the, in this event, you know. What are we going to do, Tron? We are... We're, we're going to keep it real. Yeah, we're, we're taking gonna, the gloves off here. It's going to be... Ro so, John, here's the deal. Um, if you're not doing a good job, we're probably going to We're, we're going to let you know, John. So, show up, be fair, and, uh, and bring your taste buds. Now, judge number two, this one to me, just... Is it that wow. bad? <laughs> it's he makes John Walters look like Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> All right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Who is it? It's Austin or not. 
Come on, man. Former Cyclone quarterback. He's my podcast partner. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What was that? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Austin or not? Yeah. uh, uh, now listen. Now this kid's been eating TV dinners. I was gonna last say. Now years. come on, dude. You know what? Now listen. Now don't don't get me wrong. Tom Herman may throw some Raymond noodles on one of his pork sandwiches, something like that. That could possibly happen. But here's the deal. What does this kid know about barbecue? And why, you know what? Did he just say, "Hey, I'm hungry. I want to get a free meal." Is that what's going on? Are you kidding me? Uh, listen. Is he gonna taste test this in his helmet? What's the deal here? Who I don't know. These judges. I don't, well, the, the Gridiron Club, just like they picked us to MC, <laughs> well, which could could end up being a Massive mistake. I guess if you start bad, you gotta keep going. Man. Yeah, yeah. So uh, again, Austin Arnaud. You got is really Walters and you got Arnaud, two of the three judges. Wow. And then, you know, I don't know anything about this guy, but it sounds impressive. So I think they got one of them right. Read his bio. Did they give you a bio? Yeah, Randy Meyer, who is labeled as competitive griller. Oh, you might want to step back. I right mean, now. that to me Whoa. just rings, it just spews professionalism. But then, well, well, wait a minute, though. You know, because I remember reading a guy's resume, and he said that he was like the assistant professor, CEO of flooring. He was the janitor. So, I mean, some of these things, you put these titles on them, and they don't mean anything. So, now, I don't know, Mr. Meyer, um, and, and I'm not teasing you or anything, but the case is this. You know what? I can put anything in front of my name, but if you don't know the biz... You can't call the shots, baby. This is my theory. You got your celebrity judges, and then you got the people. See what I say about the celebrity judges? <laughs> if I'm one of the coaches, I want to be the people's champion. On, come June 11th at Coldwell. Is that kind of like uh, the judges that they have? Is that kind of like American Idol? You, know, <laughs> you got like these people that have no clue as to what they're talking about. Who would be Simon in that bunch? That's what I want. Uh, I about. think that you got to go Randy Meyer. <laughs> Who would be thriller. Simon? <laughs> I think that Arnaud is a vintage Paula Abdul. <laughs> and, <laughs> wow. and I think that Randy Jackson probably be Mr. Would Walters' be Mr. godfather. Walters? You know, because J- Jackson's been on the show <laughs> through <laughs> thick and thin. Walters wait, has been with the Cyclones through thick and thin. Wait, wait, dog. Wait, dog. Dog. Wait a minute, dog. I want to hear John Walter say dog like 20 times during the during the whole thing. Can you do that? We'll put him in I, some glasses. I think if, if you ask John Walters to do anything, he's about the nicest guy in the world. I think he's going to take care of some business. So come on, dog. Let's hear it. Yeah. So nonetheless, um, there you judges. I want to be the people's champ if I'm there. There you um, go. And I think we're just going to create our own category that Chris and Tron approved. There. There you go. Let's get a stamp. There we go. We're going to do that. I hope the coaches are getting ready. They're getting those, those fine special recipes now, put together. I heard through the grapevine that uh, Shane Burnham was not pleased Ooh. with last week's talking with Tron. I hear that Shane was utterly offended by the comments that you made about his barbecue last year. How do you respond? Come on, Shane. Listen, dog. I love you like a play cousin, man. Now, don't take it personal. Listen, I didn't cook the food, man. You cooked it. So it's not, it's not, you know, if it's bad, it's bad, man. Listen, real friends tell friends the truth. Dude, the cooking is bad, okay? It's, it's, it's nothing personal, man. I still love you. We'll go out. We'll get together. And your dad, man, I love your dad, man. So listen, man, listen. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Get on the internet. Find a recipe. Get some. Pre- you know what? Put it in the in the microwave first. Hide it somewhere and then throw it on the grill when you get there. I'm just trying to help you, man. Give you some pointers. Hey, brotherly love, right there. Hey, you know what? Yeah. I love him. You know, it's just you know, Shane. Get, come on, man. Sean Smith. He keeps it real here at CycloneFanatic.com. <laughs> Wilson Toyota. That's coming up on Saturday, June 11th, 4:30 to 8:30. Cold water. Tron and I will be there. 60 bucks. All you can drink. All you can eat. Some really good stuff. There's also be giving away prizes. You're gonna have some golf contests. The entire Iowa State football coaching staff will be there. We'll talk more about it here on Tr- Talking with Tron next week. I'm going to write about it, do some blogs. I'm going to try and get an exclusive one-on-one interview either with us in a video or just get some quotes from Shane Burnham. I want to see how he responds to Tron Smith. We're, we keep it fair here. Not only do we keep it real, we keep it fair here. Equal opportunity. Equal buddy. opportunity. We're going to give Shane a chance to speak out against Tron Smith <laughs> and these, these, you know, these – these slanderous accusations. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Here's the deal. Listen, we're supposed to be a team. Why is it every time that somebody says something back, you just throw me in the fire yeah, in the middle? This ain't the Titanic. You don't get the option of taking one of the boats and, and going away, dude. We go down together, man. I'm a journalist. Man, <laughs> oh, that's just terrible. But, you know, look, this is a great thing. This is a great opportunity, and I've said this once before, for everybody that's, that's even just thinking about joining a great iron club, come out to this event and, and just get a taste of what these guys put together. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity. It's great. These things are great, man, that they put together. It's, it's really cool. It's, it's a good thing to test out because you don't have to be a member to join to go to this event either. They just want all the Cyclone fans there possible. You can get a feel for it. I know there will be a table where you can sign up. You can also go to CycloneGridironClub.com uh, anytime you want and get a membership. Yeah. Only $25 for students. I think that gets lost in the shuffle. 
$25 if you're a Cyclone student who, who wants to be a part of the club. Then, man, I'm gonna come fall, you get to go to all those exclusive practices. Now, you get to go places that really Tron and I can't even go to. I, I know, and that's the I mean, I can't go to a lot. You know, I, so. I can't go, and, and people ask me, are you a member? I can't be a member of the Gridiron Club because I call recruits and do all that. I, I can't give money. I can't be a member because you guys won't let me. No, I'm joking. Oh, uh, that's just, I do get to go places you don't get to go. You so do, don't, Tron don't, does. Don't, don't feel bad. Tron's got a lot of insight. Hey. Uh, stop on in. Memorial Day hours again or yeah, what? Here 9 to 5 Florida. here at 2212 South Delph Avenue. We're going to be, we're actually going to be supporting uh, uh, breast cancer awareness. So we're going to be wearing the nice uh, pink shirts, which I right. think is a great opportunity, great time to stand up and say, hey, you know, we, we are aware of the cause. So we'll be here from 9 to 5. Stop in. You know, we're going to have to throw, throw something on the grill. I don't know what it is. It will be better than some people's barbecue. That wasn't a shot. I'm just saying. Um, here at Wilson Toyota. So stop it. If it rains, we'll come inside. We'll party right here in the indoor show. I might stop in. I might have a hot dog with you on Monday. I'm going to so charge you. Looking forward to it. It's <laughs> fine. I'll, I'll pay I'll pay the price if it, if it means I get to spend time with you. You're, you're my idol. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for, for leaving watching. me hanging. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. We will see you on June 11th at Coldwater in next week's Talking with Tron.